Hi, my name is Osama al -Khatib. I am your Customer Solutions Architect. And in today's video, I'd like to discuss the ease of deploying an on-premise monitoring station through our App Synthetic Monitoring, rather our ASM uh, line. So the purpose of an on-premise monitoring station is to monitor internal servers not publicly accessible from the internet. You can install on-premise monitoring stations on your network and configure your monitors to use them instead of a public checkpoint. And so an OPMS uh, performs such of the following tasks from uh, processes check requests from the monitors. Uh, it can issue probes to monitored services and, of course, return the results to our uh, App Synthetic Monitor or our ASM. And uh, within here, I've already went to our uh, asm.ca.com and logged in. Uh, the video will be mainly purposed to quickly getting an on-premise station quickly deployed. Uh, and we'll cover that uh, as um, in an agile format as possible. So as I landed into my tenant, I can quickly go into my products tab in the uh, left side menu and I can go straight into my downloads. Within two clicks, I'm already able to download our on-premise monitoring station. And just with a click, I'm able to kick off the, the download for that install. And in here, of course, you have other downloads that are available to you, but our today's focus will be our OPMS, or rather our on-premise monitoring station. And in here, you'll have uh, the link to the documentation, which is uh, already opened. Uh, you can go ahead and go through this uh, documentation from all the way from system requirements to other uh, software requirements that need to be in place uh, for a successful deployment. It is really uh, very minimum. It sh shouldn't take you very long to deploy this. Um, and you'll see in this video how quickly it is and e easy it is to deploy uh, OPMS uh, in your own environment. Now, before we uh, kick off the installation, I need to make sure that you're aware. You also need to make sure you have uh, an API password set in place. And in order to attain that, uh, most uh, folks are not aware, you simply click on the upper right hand menu in here and you click on change password. So uh, in the upper right hand uh, corner, click on the twisty, click on change passwords, typically on next to your name. And your primary focus is to change the API password. So in here, you want to put in your current account password. And that is the one for logging into asm.ca.com. And then, of course, the next step is to actually create uh, an API password. This password will be different than your portal password. And you'll see uh, later in the video, as we go through the installation, we'll be prompted for that. And that's how we establish the tunnel uh, between, um, or rather the handshake between our OPMS and our SaaS tenant. So now that I have downloaded uh, my uh, ASM installer, I've gone through the documentation, I've created an API password. I'm gonna go into a VM that I have provisioned in here. I've already had the opportunity to upload um, the, um, uh, the OPMS installer, and we can go ahead and kick that off. So it's a very simple installer. As we kick it off, you're prompted uh, simply through a menu and you can be guided. Uh, if you're using uh, a different type of client, you might be even uh, prompted with a GUI interface that pops up. Um, uh, I've had that experience with different, uh, more sophisticated clients uh, than uh, M Remote NG or Putty. And so let's go ahead and continue with this, simply selecting either the defaults or the language. Uh, and uh, you'll be posted with prompts as this goes along. And of course, you need to accept uh, the um, uh, read our software licensing in great detail. And uh, after you do so, you need to go ahead and accept that. So we'll just go ahead and click through here. And then, uh, of course, we want to accept to make sure we're able to install our software.
and so uh, as we go through that, it does some quick uh, sanity checks. Uh, since I've had the opportunity to uh, install the uh, OPMS on this box, I'm pretty much doing a reinstallation. And so I've, it already has my email address, uh, but typically this is where we want to put in that uh, API password that we spoke about earlier. So put in the correct username and then put in the uh, password that you have assigned. And so now next we need to enter our uh, group or rather um, create one if we choose to. And this is where we're kind of grouping or registering the monitoring station. Uh, in my case here, I already have a couple test, test one, or we can create a new group. I'm going to go ahead and create a new group and select number three. And then I'll just going to give this name as um, uh, OPMS demo. Next, we want to enter the uh, full name or ISO code for the country. So in our case, it'll be US. And then, of course, the city I know the um, this uh, VM particularly located in our Las Vegas data center. Um, and since this is a reinstallation, it kind of has picked pick that up. I can go ahead and type it or just hit enter for the sake of it. I'll go ahead and retype it. And then give it uh, a description. Uh, previously, I've uh, given it a test run. This will, we'll call it now uh, demo OPMS video test run. And that's the description for this particular monitor. Now, of course, uh, you'll be prompted next to specify a tunnel. Um, you do want to create one unless you already have one in place. In most cases, um, it would be best to just create the tunnel. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and select yes to do so. And now this this part is great if you choose to get additional monitoring alerts specifically to this OPMS. Uh, you can change that to yes. Uh, if you choose to put in your email address and you will get continuous alerts uh, when uh, the OPMS is facing any issues, thresholds, whatever it may be, you'll actually uh, get a very nice email telling you that something has happened to the OPMS. Uh, so in our case, we, uh, we can select yes if we choose to. We can go ahead and put in my email. As you can see, I've done this be before for the target. And so I'll go ahead and do so here. And of course, I'll get email prompts. Uh, at this point, it's going to go through the installation process. Uh, this tape typically takes about 10 to 15 minutes. It really depends on the uh, uh, the speed of the box you're running this on uh, and its capabilities. So uh, I will go ahead and sort of speed up this portion of the video, but let it continue to run in the background. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you could see that uh, it's stopping all monitoring services, and this is, of course, uh, because we've had an OPMS deployed on here. So it's going to go ahead and stop all of that and then kick off the installation again. And this is an excellent video to use if you're choosing to do an upgrade, a reinstall of any kind of the OPMS itself. As this install goes through, I could already see that uh, I'm getting all the alerts since I flagged that for yes. Uh, the installation is still going on in the background. I just took a quick snapshot from my email as this is happening. Uh, and you could see all the various alerts being thrown off uh, as, as the services either come offline, come online, uh, and the installation process uh, goes through it. So be patient. We're almost there.
So now you can see we've pretty much uh, completed the installation uh, of the on-premise uh, monitoring station. And you could see the installation path uh, and it's been successful. So I'm gonna go ahead and press enter to exit the installer. And of course I've gotten several email notifications already telling me that uh, a lot of the actions have been done uh, and we're pretty much ready to um, start using it. So just so you can get an idea, uh, it's a, a very creative way, the, what they call it Mon Monet, and uh, pretty much telling you you're ready to go, your faithful employee, Monet. Now, uh, let's go back to our ASM portal. So now that we just deployed our OPMS, this is the moment of truth. I'm back into my ASM tenant, and we're going to go and find out uh, that our OPMS has been properly connected and deployed. Uh, rather, it's talking to our tenant. So I'm going to click on on-premise. I'm going to go ahead and go into stations, and voila, I see it right here. Uh, the location, the station name, uh, all the good stuff, the description that we put in earlier, um, and then I can go with a quick click. Um, I can go ahead, edit, delete the station. If I want to further look into the station as well, I uh, rename it, uh, change the weighting. If I had several stations in place, maybe I want to give some uh, higher weight over others, making sure it's active, or if I want it to go into maintenance mode. And of course, I could start immediately testing this um, uh, station before I start uh, putting it uh, into my monitoring pool. And I could put in all the different uh, URLs I'd uh, like to choose uh, and test with, maybe some internal sites that you have in place. I'm just going to go ahead and, and run a couple of tests here, and you can see uh, they're all passing. So I, this is uh, now uh, an up and running viable station. So now let's put this to the works. I'm going to go ahead and click on monitors, go into monitors again within monitoring, um, and I am going to create a fresh monitor now. So using this new OPMS. I will go ahead and select just simple HTTP monitor. We'll call this uh, OPMS ASM test. Uh, and hey, why not test our site here? Uh, ASM.ca.com. Uh, I'm gonna just leave the default values. And this is the most important uh, the moment of truth I'm gonna go ahead and not select a random station but rather uncheck this box I am going to select only the on-premise stations and you could see it partially highlighted North America I'll expand that United States go ahead and expand that and right there my OPMS uh, is showing up uh, with the name that I've given it so now I can go ahead and step through creating a standard monitor by this point i'm really uh interested in seeing this work so i'll, I'll go ahead and hit save uh, immediately it tests the monitor oh what a wonderful thing everything came back uh, uh testing okay uh, and this is now by this click an active monitor so with that uh this quick video uh, we were able to download our OPMS from our uh, ASM tenant. We were able to deploy it on a VM, uh, essentially going through a very quick uh, so, sort of guided wizard. And once you're done, uh, the connection was established to our uh, ASM uh, tenant, and we were able to then immediately deploy monitors on there. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, hopefully it was beneficial, and if uh, you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Take care.